Memorial Baptist Church in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is my friend, Trish Brown. She's going to quickly introduce herself. I'm Trish Brown, a community organizer in Tallahassee, Florida. I have long fought for the restoration of voting rights and all other rights that have been withheld from folks who are formerly incarcerated. Senator Sanders, I hail from a state that has been a laboratory for modern day racist voter suppression and gerrymandering. I remember in 2016 when the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals struck down a monster voter suppression law in North Carolina saying that it targeted black voters with, and I quote, almost surgical precision. We know that this is not just happening in North Carolina. We know that all over this country, racialized voter suppression tactics are being used to keep poor people and people of color out of the electoral process and to give power to extremists who then pass policies that hurt poor people. So Trish and I want to know, as president, what will you do to address the systemic policy racism of voter suppression and expand our voting rights? The Republican governors all over this country who are suppressing the votes are political cowards. They refuse to participate in a free, fair, and open election because they know that if poor people, people of color, and young people are allowed to vote and do vote in large numbers, they will lose. So I say to those cowardly Republican governors what I have said for years. If you are too afraid to participate in free, fair, and open elections, get another job. Now, in addition, in my view, the solution to this issue is not complicated, and this is exactly what I will fight for as President of the United States. If you are 18 years of age in America, and you are a citizen of this country, you have the right to vote, end of discussion. All right? And I think also, and I think I am the only candidate who will tell you this, obviously it goes without saying that if somebody has paid his or her debt to society, has spent time in jail and got out, of course, of course those people deserve the right to vote. But well, let me take it a step further, and I've been criticized widely for saying this, but this is what I believe. If you are a citizen of America, you have the right to vote even if you are in jail. Because voting is not a question of good people or bad people. It's a question of maintaining universal right to vote for all citizens. If you commit a crime, you pay the price. So what we have got to do, understanding that we have one of the lowest voter turnouts on earth for a major country, we have got to make it easier for people to vote, not harder for people to vote. Really quickly on, on this same issue, um, Florida, um, Senator, um, the citizens of Florida, passed a constitutional amendment to restore voting rights for 1.7 million approximately people. Yes. 